What is a comma? In theory, a comma is a punctuation mark used to separate parts of a sentence that logically should be separate. However, in practice, commas follow specific rules. One of the most common uses of a comma is to separate three items in a list. The doctor took her temperature, comma, her blood pressure, comma, and her pulse. There is some debate over whether a comma is required before the AND. This is what's called the Oxford comma. You can ask your instructor whether they have a preference. Another common usage of the comma is to separate introductory phrases. Let's take a look at an example. Before he was rich and famous, comma, Professor Colburn was just a professor with a YouTube channel. But what makes a phrase introductory? Well, let's take a closer look. The sentence can be divided into two parts, an independent clause and a dependent clause. The independent clause is the essential building block of a sentence. We could make it into its own sentence. The dependent clause, however, needs an independent clause on which to rely. But the dependent clause comes first here. So to signal to the reader that an independent clause is coming, we give a comma. You wouldn't need the comma if the phrase were flipped around. Professor Colburn was just a professor with a YouTube channel before he was rich and famous. But what makes one part of the sentence dependent? It's that word before. This is what's called a subordinating conjunction. A subordinating conjunction tells us that it and what follows make up a dependent clause. We need to know what happened before and thus the sentence cannot stand alone. Put the dependent clause first and we need a comma to separate the sentence's inessential part from its essential part. Put the independent clause first and we don't need a comma because we've already received the vital information. Would you like to receive the vital information? Subscribe to Colburn Classroom and be on the lookout for new videos.